Hello and welcome to another episode of Dick Small Engines. And in front of me you can see a John Deere uh, 14SC Pro, nice old commercial unit, picked it up off Marketplace um, last night. It's got a Kawasaki, I think it's the FC150, yes it is, on top. Now the chap said he, was, he, he thought it did have compression. Now I've rigged me compression tester up and it hadn't but not to be deterred with these overhead valve engines I whipped the valve cover off and I noticed that the valve stem here or both valve stems were actually not sat in the recess um in there in it seated in the recessed area at the back of the the um the head the exhaust valve as well here was stuck so i've had to free that up and obviously if the valves aren't get um uh, the clearance on the valves isn't as it should be and the stems aren't in situ that's that sit on the rocker arms there your machine's not going to fire, so all I've done is get the valve sim back in situ in the recess part at the back of the, the block. The, the intake and exhaust. I've freed up this exhaust valve here. And then I've set the clearance, I think, from what I can remember, it's five foul intake and exhaust um, with me feeler gauges. So there now. Engines at top dead centre, pistons at, as you can see there, plugs out, pistons at top dead centre, five foul, and nice and snug in there, as we're at top dead centre on the compression stroke. So we've gone from zero compression to now I'm. Uh, I'll rig my compression test back up again and we'll see uh, what the compression reading is. May have to be tweaked again, but it just goes to show zero compression on this machine, simply whipping the valve cover off of the head and uh, setting the valves could be something simple and straightforward as to why a machine has no compression. Obviously, it's slightly different on the flat heads, um, but in this case, the overhead valve. Um, it I could be rectified, but have a look now, I'll read the compression test. Oh, let's go for a compression test. This is the best position I can get you in. It's that sit upside down, it's going to come off the screen. Touching 60 psi, so that's not going to be a, enough for this machine to fire over, unfortunately, at the minute. So, I've had a look down the, the bore itself, um, pistons heavily carved up, a lot of carbon build up on the piston. The, um, I can't obviously see the rings yes but there's no scoring in the ball but the purpose of this video was to when a machine over a valve has got no compression is to initially um, get the head valve head cover off and check the valves then the clearance on your intake and exhaust because initially, like I said, I didn't show that on camera, but there's bugger all pierce so the valve stems weren't in situ on the block, in the recess area of the block, as I said. And um, the clearance on the valves was miles out. It should be, I think it's five foul for intake and exhaust. But we've got 60 pairs so, um, 
there'll be no further works on this at the minute. I'm going to have to work through the backlog of uh, other machines I've got out in the yard. I just wanted to prove that there was compression there. And we've got 60 pairs of, it's not going to be enough for it to fire. The purpose of this video, like I say, was to, when there's no compression and over a valve, initially, check your valve clearances and all the valves, the valve stems are seated correctly and in situ. So take care to half an hour.